Hi, my name is Mike McLaughlin. I'm a Tai Chi and Chinese martial arts teacher in South Africa. I also teach Qigong on different levels. We will be posting instruction videos on various Qigong postures and techniques and how to do them correctly. For more information, you can go to my website, taichi.co.za. Hi, this week we will be showing you the opening sequence and first step of the Yang style short form. Stand with the feet shoulder width apart and parallel. With the arms in line with the size, raise them until the back of the hand is level with the top of the shoulder. Drop the elbows so the hands come back, keeping the elbows in front of the chest. And bring the hands back to the starting position. Do not flex the wrists. And sink the weight down into the left foot. Turn your center line about 40 degrees to the right and open the right foot slightly. When warding off with the right hand, make sure the elbow is down and the shoulder is in. It must go into the, the, the upper part of the body. So paradoxically we raise the hand but the shoulder sinks and the elbow must be pointing down so that the point of the elbow points to the ground and the hand level with the top of the shoulder. Also, <clears throat> the hand must rise on the center line of the body. Here. Do not pull the arm back so that you have a gap between the center line and the hand. So, rising on the center line. The left hand cups the dantian. It's one hand span below the navel and one fist width away from the body. So simply this. And the, and the ward off is half of a circle. So extend the arm. A common mistake is this. Then when you move, you're moving closer towards the arm. It's ward off. It must be extended and it mustn't come close to the body. So when you shift, keep the arm still and don't move towards it and don't move it towards you. Move all your weight onto the right leg, then step forward on the left leg in a straight line, placing the heel first without any weight at this point. Step forward in a straight line, keeping the feet shoulder width apart. Do not move the knee and foot to the outside as shown in the video. From here, the hand rises from the abdomen to the chest on the center line of the body. That's the center of the palm on the center line of the body. The weight shifts and as the weight shifts, it moves inside the arm until all the weight is on the front leg and the center line is facing the front. And again, the, the arm is a wall off position with the elbow down, shoulder down and a half circle with the center of the palm facing the center of the chest. So what we have here is a spiraling motion as the weight shifts and the arm rises with the shift of the weight from the back foot to the front foot. The right hand simply drops straight down until it's in line with the left knee. I hope you found this informative and please look out for our next video 
which we will be posting soon.